Hello. The reason I'm responding to my own video is I wanted to correct something I had said in this last video about the collapsing magnetic field that comes off of a coil of wire. I mentioned in my previous video that I had done an experiment where I took a huge loop of wire, a single loop, and I spread it out over a friend's field. And just to show you a little diagram here, this is essentially what I did. If you can picture this loop being hundreds of feet, I wanted to see if I could detect a, a back spike coming off this coil when I, when I opened the switch. I'm calling it a coil even though it's only a single loop. And I, I concluded that there was no back spike. Well, somebody wrote me and told me I was incorrect, and so I retested the theory, and this time I used an oscilloscope to see if I could pick up any uh, back spike. And, and I did. I was surprised. It's got me sort of pondering what, what in the world that came from. but. Um, no, it was very small, and only only looking at it real carefully was I able to detect that there was something there. But there was a very small back spike, and so uh, for what it's worth, um, something to think about. Where does that come from? Perhaps, perhaps it's similar to how you'll where the back spike comes from with a big coil of wire, where you've got this returning magnetic field coming back to its source, having to move past other pieces of wire. But with a single piece of wire, perhaps in the process of moving back, it, uh, well, it's still having to run across some of its own mass to return to its source, so maybe that's where it comes from. Anyway, I don't know if that's the, if it's that significant of a discovery, but I appreciate the gentleman that set me straight on that, and it's given me a little more food for that. So anyway, thanks for listening.